name is Katerina Sutton and I am a wire artist. I got my start making wire jewelry in 2003 and since then I've become completely obsessed with wire. One of the things that I love most about working with wire is how much I can create using only my hands, pliers and cutters, and occasionally some other tools like a drill, hammer, and anvil. My mom taught me to crochet when I was a young child, but two years ago I started crocheting with wire, and let's just say I'm hooked. This is the first sculpture I made. It is a self-portrait and was created in 2018 during my five-month stay in Argentina. Creating this piece was stitching my heart together, and through that process, I discovered a renewed passion for wire and a desire to work on a much larger scale. This is my fire dancer. Standing at eight feet tall, she is the largest piece I've created so far. This was the first time I began to work with copper tubing and thicker gauges of wire to add structure to support the weight of such a large project. I mentioned that my mom taught me to crochet. My dad has also played a huge role in the direction I've gone in as an artist. These two pieces were inspired by his work at the Octa Tetra Museum in San Antonio. Here we have my first ever commissioned wall piece. It was inspired by another mask I made, but my client asked me to make their hair look like fern leaves. She also requested that I add crystal to the hair and eyes. This is the shadow of that first mask. The shadow these pieces cast is my favorite part. I'll show you more shadow play in a moment, but here's a quick look at that full mask. Next, we have three pictures of the same sculpture, each with different lighting. This is my foot. It is the second sculpture I made. I didn't know what to work on, but I wanted to take a step towards creating larger art pieces, so I made my foot. And this is my Atlantean goddess you saw me working on earlier in this video. And finally here we have my first few attempts at working with color wire. My desert sunset, my sun and moon, and this crazy hat that I had way too much fun working on. Lastly, to end this video, here are some of my animal talismans. Creating these necklaces led towards me working on a much larger scale. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if I can make you smart.